Find the coordinates of the y-intercept and the x-intercept of the equation 4x minus 6y equals 5. So in my previous video, I defined this word intercept. I said an intercept is any point or any ordered pair that contains the number 0. Whether the 0 is in the x position or the y position, doesn't matter. It's still an intercept. And so specifically, the y-intercept is the point or the ordered pair when x is equal to 0. And the x-intercept is the point or the ordered pair when y is equal to 0. So to find the intercepts, you're basically plugging 0 into your equation. So to find the y-intercept, we plug in 0 for x. So instead of 4x minus 6y, it's 4 times 0 minus 6y equals 5. And then when we solve for y, 4 times 0 is 0, so we have negative 6y is equal to 5, or y is equal to negative 5 over 6. If we divide both sides by negative 6, we get y equals negative 5 over 6. So since x is 0, and we just figured out that y is negative 5 over 6, the y-intercept would be the point or the ordered pair 0, comma, negative 5 over 6. And by that same logic, to find the x-intercept, we plug in 0 for y. So 4x minus 6, instead of 6y, it's 6 times 0 equals 5. And 6 times 0 is 0. So we have, oop, let's go, let's go back up here. So 6 times 0 is 0, so we have 4x is equal to 5. And if we divide both sides by 4, we'll have x is equal to 5 over 4. So by letting y equal 0, we found the x-intercept. So our point or our ordered pair is 5 over 4 for the x and 0 for the y. So remember, an intercept is a point that contains the number 0. All right, and we're going to do the same thing in number 2, but we're going to go a step further. We're going to use the intercepts to graph the equation. Okay, so same thing. We plug in 0 for x to find the y-intercept. So instead of 2 times x, it's 2 times 0 minus 4y equals 8. 2 times 0 is 0, so we have a minus 4y equals 8. And we could divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. And we'll have y equals negative 2. 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. All right, so we have the point 0 comma negative 2 and that is our y-intercept so we go down 2 on the y-axis and here's the point 0 comma negative 2 and then we find the x-intercept so for the x-intercept we plug in 0 for y so 2 times x minus 4 times 0 equals 8. 4 times 0 is 0, so 2x minus 0, or just 2x, is equal to 8. And we'll divide both sides of this equation by 2 to solve for x, and we'll have x is equal to 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So x is 4 when y is zero. So there's our x-intercept, positive four on the x-axis. So we'll go over here and there is our 
x intercepts. So the x axis, or sorry, the x intercepts when y is equal to zero is always a point on the x axis, and the y intercept is always a point on the y axis. And once we have two points, we have enough so we could graph the line. All right, so this is the graph of the equation 2x minus 4y equals 8. Saying it's the graph of the equation is a little bit misleading. We're not actually graphing the equation. We're graphing all of the answers. We're graphing all the solutions. So like I discussed in my last video, every point on that line Every ordered pair on that line is a solution to the equation. So the graph is not a picture of the equation itself. The graph is a picture of all the solutions to the equation. All right, so for number three, now we have a couple of uh, special cases here. So graph and label the following equations. And I'll label them by doing two different colors. So let's graph y equals 1, we'll graph this in green, and the uh, 3x equals 4, we'll graph this in red. So that'll be enough to, to label. All right, so let's start with y equals 1. Since there's no x value, there's no x in that equation, it's just y equals 1, that means any point no matter what the x value is, as long as the y value is equal to 1, it's a point on that line, or it's a, it's a solution to that equation. Let's get it back. There we go. All right. So there are infinitely many choices here. So we could have the we know x could be 0 and y could be 1, or x could be 3 and y could be 1, or x could be negative 4 and y could be 1. Basically, x could be anything as long as the y value is equal to 1. So the three points that I just chose at random here are 0, for x, 1 for y, 3 for x, 1, 2, 3, and 1 for y, negative 4 for x, and 1 for y. As you'll see, we have a horizontal line. So, when there is no x value, only y value, or no uh, uh, the variable x doesn't occur, only the variable y occurs. So basically the equation looks like y equals some number. That was always going to be a horizontal line. And the 3x equals 4, well let's solve for x. So divide both sides by 3. So we'll have x is equal to 4 over 3. All right, so this is the line, this is the line we're going to graph. And this means any point in the xy plane where the x value is 4 over 3 is on this line. So for, oh, let's go back to blue. 4 over 3 comma 0, or 4 over 3 comma 2, or 4 over 3 comma negative 5, etc. Any, any value for y works as long as the x value is 4 thirds. So a little bit more than 1, 1 and a third. So that first point, 4 thirds, will be a little larger than 1. So 4 thirds comma 0 would be about right there. 4 thirds comma 2 would be about right there. 
four thirds comma negative five would be about right there. And so you'll see we have a vertical line. So when your equation is y equals a number, it's a horizontal line. In this case, we have the line y equals one. And if your equation looks like x equals a number, in this case, x equals four over three, is a vertical line. So horizontal and vertical lines are the two special cases, and these are the cases where we're missing one of the variables. All right, so in number four, it's the opposite. We have the graphs of a vertical and a horizontal line, and we need the equations. And based on our discussion for number three, a vertical line crosses through the x-axis, so the equation is x equals a number. In this case, the x value is one, two, three. So it crosses the x-axis at three, so the equation would be x equals three. And like previously mentioned, a horizontal line has the equation y equals a number, and in this case, we're down one, two, three, four. So down four means negative four, so that equation would be y equals negative four. Okay, so that does it for this video, for these four problems. The next topic in the next video, the next couple of videos, will be the equation of a line that's not horizontal or vertical. So it's, you can think about it as a slanted line or diagonal line, however you want to sort of characterize that. Uh, but we're going to be introducing the topic of slope. And slope is, uh, another word for slope is the direction of the line. All right, that's the topic for the next video. I hope this one was helpful.